Hello, hello, and welcome to Simulacra Studios presents Trinity Continuum Aeon Asaya. I am Scott, your humble story guide, myself, all my players, our information is on the screen, check it out. When last we left, our freelance scions, they had assisted Absolute Zero, as well as the Hounds of the Void, and just some guy in a Varg that sure did kill a lot of people, uh, from the assault from Doc's Merry Men, a pirate band notorious out here in the, in the asteroid belt, uh, who were doing a strangely coordinated and powerful attack on the Absolute Zero station. Uh, they managed to portal away Doc himself, uh, along with his hostage, prisoner, uh, Irene Melbourne, uh, from, uh, from the Golden Ministries. <laughs> but she's, she's fine now. Everything's good with that. Uh, but yes, yeah, so uh, they are being escorted by Shelby Williams, uh, not Shelby, Shell Williams, uh, he introduces himself to you. Well, they introduce themselves to you. Sorry. Um, uh, as uh, they are escorting you to the Aeon Chapter House, uh, where efforts are being coordinated at logistics, uh, you know, repair, life-saving efforts, all sorts of things are kind of be riding for them because they just kind of said they were in charge when the crisis started because that's kind of what they do. But anyway... Uh, you guys are escorted past the sort of uh, the uh, entry lobby uh, where there's a lot of civilians here coming out receiving aid, getting uh, getting instructions and and resources uh, getting deployed from emergency packages, uh, and you get escorted into the. Proteus sector of the Aeon Chapter House. Proteus being the sort of the militant wing of the Aeon Trinity, uh, where. Uh, everyone certainly is saluting this janitor a lot. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, you are sort of led back into kind of a debriefing room area um, where, you know, there's a there's some, you know, calming music. The air conditioning is nice in here. It's, you know, perfectly designed for after action scenario where the adrenaline can push down a little bit. People can kind of get into a calmer attitude. And uh, he kind of sits down at a table with you. It's not a situation where, like, he's at an interrogation table. This is more of a debriefing table and says, like, well, thank you for your fortuitous uh, arrival on scene. Uh, it's certainly a powerful ship you have. Yeah, sure is a thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sure is a thing, absolutely. Um, well, any information that you guys have about what may have just happened uh, certainly uh, certainly would be appreciated. Unclear if it's related to what just happened or not, but since we're here, I need to report it immediately. My minicom got stolen. Someone had recently used it to try to access the battle. F they know. Ah, uh, and um, um, now that's good. Now that machine is in whoever that was his hands, and we probably should talk about that. Oh, uh, we absolutely should talk about that. Uh, I do know that that data access to was denied, so I don't. As far as I know, there's nothing beyond what else was on there uh, that we have to worry about. But please describe exactly how that happened. Um, I do. Uh, I do so. Uh, okay. If you want me to, I can. Like, uh, uh, well, yeah. We were uh, opening a, uh, a multiple uh, portal system, and one that looked an awful lot like Damien's, but I don't think was one of his, uh, opened open behind that me. One. Hmm? I didn't open that one. Yeah, opened behind me, and um, it. The minicomp was wrenched away, I believe, with telekinesis, and I uh, got a whiff of something that wasn't wasn't sigh. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if it was uh, all the way the other thing, but it was it was something strange. He he. They pull up uh, something on uh, their kind of like desktop minicomp. It's like. I see that you, uh, your crew was involved with that situation uh, with the cult a couple of days ago. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure were. Uh, really should have called in. Probably should have. You, 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 I was told not to. But Understood. Um, I, I'm not certain. There's, you guys have a file that yeah. uh, I was, uh, um, well, a portion of which I was made privy to. Uh, so I know something of what's going on with you all. Um, 
but certainly not the entire picture. Uh, I do have a note here that was added to that file after I submitted the report regarding the uh, cognito hazard that I should be watching you more carefully uh, for anything strange going on with you or your powers. So, that seems to be two pieces of a puzzle clicking together. Um, I've just mouthed over to Damien. Sorry. I was not affected by that cognito hazard in any way. Yeah, that was more of a... Uh, that was more for humans, where it would affect humans more strongly. None of us, uh, and Damien didn't... Or none of us, actually. I'm the only one who read the mantra at all, and it didn't get at mm. me. Uh, once we realized the problem, yes, definitely should have come to you guys first. Mm. But... It's fine. There's we some went mandated distance that we would have to deal with, but... We went to go talk it out... They opened. They put us in a kill box and tried to murder us. So that's what happened. The favor. We mm. took it personally. Has there been any other? Have you noted any other strangeness with powers or uh, any other sort of actions? Anything going with any one of your powers? Mine's upswung a lot in the last month, I'd say. But other than that, I don't think that is that normal. I don't know. I've never heard of anyone. Like, ramping up very quickly and suddenly, but I don't know. That could be a thing. I mean, if you're focusing and using them a lot, that's uh, one way to do Seems it. Seems like every single minute of every day at this point. Well, I've accidentally opened portals that I didn't intend to twice. Can I get some more detail on that, please? Opening portals to do what I wanted to do, I manifested a second portal that I, I didn't know... About, I didn't intend to create. Anything in your files on us about Mars? Mm hmm. Is that where the portal opened to? Yes. There's a note about Mars. What does it say? It's literally a note about Mars, something that I. I there are things in this file that I can't tell you. I'm going to ask you to not try and access it, because I know you can. It's bullshit. I'm going to try and be as forthcoming as I can. There is some top-level security regarding your situation. I only have a limited amount of information, and I'm going to try and be as judicious as I can with sharing it with you. Someone took my fucking memories, dude. Someone ripped memories out of my head. Out of all of us. Out of all of us. We, we've been literally thrown on our asses by the only people we could turn to and trust for something we don't remember. So we're going to have to press a little hard yeah, here. I'm going to be suspended. Uh, you know, I wish I knew why. And I know you can't, you're not God here. You're not in charge of anything. But okay, we haven't said out loud to anyone in authority, this fucking sucks. We don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something very broad, but hopefully will give you an idea of the scope. The level of security, the level of clearance, the level of authorization on your file, it comes direct from the Aeon Council. Top of Aeon, probably... It's about as confirmed it can be get that all the proxies are on the Council as well. So they all f are fully aware of what's happening here. And so just, she burned me. Just burned us for no fucking reason. Well, I'm sure a reason that made a lot of sense to them at the time, but... I guess I did get his I, attention. I, I also helped. That wasn't directed at you. I understand. I'm, like I said, I'm going to try and help you guys out as much as I can, but there are clear directives here about what I can and cannot tell you. And I don't have much. I don't have the answers. I don't know. Okay. But I do have a note about Mars. I have a note about being aware of, of memetic viruses or cognito hazards. I have a note about Mars and powers functioning abnormally. So we have two abnormal portals. Yes. And you say that there was an... Give me more detail on that access attempt. Uh... It was my. It was me doing it, but it wasn't me doing it. As in, 
I did not choose to try to access whatever that information was, nor do I really quite know what the quarry was for. But it was definitely my hand typing it in. No, it was your si- it was or your it was, it was done psionic. Yeah, yeah. But it was it was it, it was, was via it was it was via me as a conduit entering that information into the into my computer or into my mini comp. Anything else? Any other unintended uses of powers? I'm a clairsentient, so it's kind of hard to tell, but sometimes stuff makes it through, like a voice saying, uh, when I discover, ah, right, when I discovered the, the cognito, ha- what the cognito hazard was, I did hear another person's voice. I don't usually hear voices, um, but, it, uh, but it did just say, it's a memetic virus, or something like that. It was a voice I don't okay. recognize, but it came through. I, I, when uh, I opened the portal to Mars on accident, I heard a voice. Okay, so we've got a, now we've got a voice showing up in multiple of these incidences. Yes. Uh, do you recall what the voice said? I believe it said, it's not there. So, when, okay, so the voice said it's not there when you, were, when you had opened a portal to Mars. Yes. What is the... Timeline that we're dealing with here. Did any of these happen simultaneously? Mars was the same time as mine, wasn't it? Was mine? No, no, it wasn't. No, no. Mars they've was all been the first incident. rapid fire over the over the last two weeks, basically. I've had to do a lot of work over the last few weeks. Out of play. When did that vision where we got where I got the words where we got the words Sidereia, Bifrost, Eden, and all that was that? Um, that what happen- was going on with that vision? I forget well, what happened. When that me. happened, you guys were on the bridge of the Asaya. Mm-hmm. Uh, as the power, as like the the main core of the ship was being like disgorged and spatially right. folded, mm. uh, okay. as it was sort of like it briefly expanded gotcha. uh, into like weird geometric shapes, mm. and that triggered uh, the vision of the monolith, which right. had the same geometric shapes to it. Right. Um, and we all saw a different word on it. And you also you well you were. You had your gloves off and were like clearing away grime right. that was getting into your skin as it was doing so, and you remember clearing away those those words. Um, and then the vision end. Um, I will. I will also remind you, since it's coming up, and he's asking questions about it. You piece together that all of every single instance of a power misfiring concurred with Damien opening a portal, and there was also you involuntarily used your clairsentience to scan the system. That's right. That's right. Thanks. I would have... I forgot would have about vol- that. would have volunteered Absolutely that. would have volunteered that. My, I got hijacked, too. Would you, conc- would you volunteer the timing of it? Once again, I over the like, sorry, buddy. All the ones I know about were in concurrence with... Talk with us being linked up, or at least with Damien's portals being uh, used, or I don't know if that's all of it, but that's all that I'm aware of. I'm just the boring one. Okay. Oh yeah, that's you. <laughs> Are we s- we're still in a link, right? Yeah, yeah, we're in the link. Sending to you. Thank you for not telling him about my scan that you did. We need to worry about that yet. No, that's that, a- yeah, that's yeah. that's just what he oh, sent yeah, yeah. to us. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to send a message to the council about this. This is... There are too many things. Um, Yeah, I'm going to have to send a message to the council, and I think I'm going to send uh, what... I'm going to do what I can to send a message directly to Proxy uh, Antoine. Because if what you're saying is true... You seem to be the crux of this. It seems to be cankered on you and your use of your powers. I'm going to ask you. I'm not going. I'm not going to tell you that you cannot leave the station. I'm going to ask you to stay here in absolute zero until I get a response from the council we about be, what to do next. We will be in the proximity, if not on station proper. If we if we leave, we'll let you know exactly where we're going. If we're going somewhere, I don't want to have. I, I don't want to scuffle with Aeon or anyone like that. I'm, I'm a hired man. That's it. Oh. Yeah, and this all of my accounts obviously should be under more scrutiny. I go where I want to go. They know how to get a hold of me to bring me back here if I'm not there. Yep, that's true. Uh, like I said, I, I, 
I'm not giving any of you an order. I can't give any of you an order because we're not part of the same organization. I'm just saying. Ouch. <laughs> understand. Um. So about this guy that we have in our brig. Yeah. yeah okay. Let's. Oh, yeah. yeah. More current events. Let's, um, let's talk. I guess the the fun part. <laughs> yeah. Um. Good job. Good job on apprehending. I mean, if that's if that's Doc, that, then you guys have done the solar system of, of fucking. That's Doc. It is. He did I try heard. and kill himself immediately after. Yeah. He, really. He, yeah. Saw, he, the old tooth capsule. Yeah. He's he's working he for it. someone, and when. I almost cracked him, but he almost but he tried to crack himself before he but he uh, wouldn't say who hired him. Now, uh, so I don't want to leave him alone. Too do you know long. who I am? Just you know exactly who I am. I know who you are. Yeah. Okay. Do you know who the lady was who was with him? Uh. An adjuster for my for my ah, father. Okay. Gotcha. Um. She claims mm -hmm. that through whatever it is that she she's up to or however she does her thing, she made herself look useful, and so she was allowed to be on the bridge standing right next to him. Now. I don't believe that at all, obviously, but I can't just, you know, put this woman in chains, even though she is locked in her room mm. right now. But uh, we, I would love to know whether she actually, whether any of that's true, uh, if, if there's any resources we can put into finding out whether she was actually taken prisoner. Well, we have a skilled telepath. Oh, good. Uh, uh, here. Uh, I was planning on having them have uh, have our uh, our friend Miss Lee uh, have a little chat with Doc for one thing. Um, we're gonna have to. You guys are an unregistered mercenary band for the for for lack of everything. Yeah, you guys really have no capacity to to take or hold no. prisoners. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, you know, no. eventually we, we, that just becomes. We don't become, want to take care yeah, of prisoners. No, yeah. like, we, we would like yeah. to handle. That's why I brought it up. And so, I would so we're, we're going to be taking custody of that guy. And absolutely um, would love, you know, just to be safe. If you took custody of the adjuster too, would love that. Um, and only still, she's cleared of any involvement. Yeah. Yeah. Um, was yeah. she armed, by the way? Is she was she armed when I detected her on the bridge? Uh, she had a sidearm. It's like, well, she was armed on a, on the bridge of a pirate vessel. It's suspicious as hell. Um, I can certainly. There's absolutely no problems with a, a telepathic uh, conversation with Doc. I need to do some looking into uh, the suggester. She may have connections and political standing that would make that complicated. Uh, but we can certainly, they can certainly be in the same room for a while. Um, I, yep. Anyway, I'm going to get some men uh, to, if any, if one of you wants to escort some men uh, to the, your ship yeah, to get sure. uh, those people into proper custody. We don't mm -hmm. want kidnapping charges to be mm -mm. a thing. No, nope. nope. We are nope. full I'm, compliance. I'm, I'm happy to escort anybody back. I want to keep my nose clean. Yep. I just want to keep... Keep an eye on Doc. I don't know if he's got another tooth like that or not. Why would you ever have two? I don't know. Someone pulls the first one while they're asking you questions. Oh. Um, is there anything else? Otherwise, I would probably like... Yeah, no, we need to have a chat. Uh, All right, then. All right. Well, uh, we're going to go get those prisoners then. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you guys can talk. Great. Later, pal. <laughs> yeah, so there's a couple of secu uh, so a couple of Proteus agents uh, accompany you guys back to the Yasaya, uh, and they uh, uh, definitely take uh, custody of Doc. Uh, is he, who, is is he, he awake yet? Yeah, he's, 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 he's a little groggy right now. <laughs> okay. It's like, uh, oh, but, look, it's the luckiest motherfucker in the world. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, he, he just kind of like, <sighs> well, that's... Um, We'll have to see how that this sh this whole situation shakes out. Um, uh, and he, yeah, he goes with uh, with the Proteus people, uh, and they going over to uh, to the Miss uh, Miss Jester Miss Melbourne. Um, they uh, like they're receiving information. Says this woman has a little bit more juice um, politically. Yeah, politically, with some corporation backing, uh, definitely, she definitely, uh, we can take her, 
but it's going to be it's we probably won't be able to hold her for long. Well, um, I guess just let the cat know that uh, that, and we'll do what we can. I know where she's going. We know where she's going to go. So fair enough. If you want to, if you want to, uh, if your telepath wants to. Uh, I don't yeah, know. We'll, we'll, Dress up like we'll, a bum or something. We'll, we'll figure out. something out. We'll get them in. We'll get them in the same room uh, and see what we she's can do. She's he, he, that at real pause. Human. I'm pretty sure she's human. Seems human. They kind of blink. Says we're all human, sir. No, no just she's there's something like weird. Us. There's something weird about her, but I can't put my finger on it. But she's not. You know what I mean? Anyway, sorry. Clear sentient nonsense. Don't mind me. You know, thank you for saying it. Um, <laughs> anyway, so like, yeah. that lights up. Clear sentient nonsense. Yeah. So yeah, oh, they, they fiddle, fiddle. take both of them in. I'm probably very, more temporary on one of them than the other. I'm very assuring to Irene. It's thank just you. like, listen, this is just because you were on the bridge. They just want to know your story and exactly what happened. Also, so that we can get a full report in, so that we can, uh, you know, sue. Sue Mr. Hammer here for his uh, destruction of our pro- uh, corporate property. Certainly. We have great relations with Aeon. We, we'll, we'll, we, we're sure this will just run its course quickly. Of course. I'll uh, see you back at the ministry. Absolutely. That's where I'm heading. <laughs> so back at the chapter house. Once, uh, once they... <laughs> <laughs> um, Sam! 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 <laughs> he, uh, they... Uh, they, um... Uh, take out a, uh, a biosystems cancer-free cigarette pack uh, and, uh, like, tap one out and offer. <gasps> yes. It's been so long. Thank goodness they've... Uh, and, like, you, like, tap something and, like, the, the filtration system starts going <laughs> wild. Um, and says, thank goodness they invented, they invented these things. Oh, oh All right. Okay. You, um, you're in a, you and your friend's situation is, is pretty, pretty novel. <laughs> um, I understand, just looking at what I'm looking at here, um, which by the way, I've, I've shut it down and it's off the system now, all those notes and files, you know, temptation is a bitch. It was. Uh, but I appreciate uh, you resisting it. Well, you don't win you, friends by stealing their It secrets. doesn't, from what I can tell, and I've seen some crazy operations in my time working for, working for the Trinity. I know it, from, from your perspective, I'm sure it looks like you've been burned and like screwed with and fucked over. I'm, you know, if, if I were in your position, that would look. This doesn't have the look of this. This looks like something that's part of a bigger agenda. I was both hoping and afraid of that. I had enough faith that I didn't come in after all to uh, to report. Yes, and that's that's, that's good. And we're going to have to deal with that because I'm certain we don't want. Yeah, I all the things you told me. I think there's aberrant involvement with whatever's going on with your powers being subverted. Something non-psionic, like I said. I don't, yeah. I don't, I didn't, it was so quick and so brief. I don't think I got specifically aberrant since Well, now, but, but I don't Based know. on notes, the, there, whatever, there is an aberrant connection to whatever your situation is. Uh, and there can be only be so many consequences stacking, stacking up. Uh, and I mean, our intelligence indicates that this is not, when I say aberrant, I mean colony. Um, the, the the organized force against humanity. So, like I said, I can't tell you much, but I don't think this is a screw job. I think this is part of something bigger. And, you know, I, the, my advice is keep the faith. I'm going to choose to believe that whatever I don't remember, maybe I voluntarily let that happen. Because that's uh, the way I will sleep the best at night. Um, I, I can't confirm that. I, I can't confirm that, but I... Well, I appreciate the encouragement either way. Oh, uh, right. I can't promise I can answer them, but if you have questions, you might as well lob them their way while we're in this 
permitted time of of uh, of interacting. I wish I could remember why I was on Mars in the first place. It's not uh, exactly a question, but maybe you can give me not exactly an answer. Whatever the reason, it was a part of something important. It was part of all of it, then. Yeah, I think, I think that's pretty intrinsically tied to whatever happened. Um, yeah, there's there's a big information blackout about whatever your mission was that put you on the planet together. Um, so, is uh, what's going to happen with Damien as far as um, since the, he's, you know, seem especially or you seem especially concerned about his his portals? What do you what do you think might uh, if, what kind of, what kind of, what kind of uh, blowback should we be preparing ourselves for, and especially him? If this is what we think it is, what it seems to be, if it is uh, some sort of aberrant subversion of psionic powers, yeah, no, that's 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 real bad. Um, I wouldn't doubt that you might we might be getting a visit from a proxy. This is on their level. Sort of. That's that's their level sort of deal. Well, maybe got... maybe I don't know. I I couldn't. Maybe maybe uh, Atuan, uh, maybe Zwiedler, uh to 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 check him out better. But best of luck to them. <laughs> All, everyone involved on in that. He's, uh... Yeah, I, that that given the level of authorizations and additional notes that showed up as I was entering that report. Where someone someone's gonna have to take a look. All right. Well, you know how to get in touch with us. I mean, yeah, I said, yeah. If just, we go, uh, we won't be far. Yeah, we'll just be, please keep me keep me uh, at at uh, keep me informed. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you're doing the good work. I hope so. I mean, you've you've even even out here in the cold, you've. You've helped, and that won't go unnoticed. That's a relief. Well, thank you. Uh, speaking of uh, doing some good work and helping, I, I kind of want to blow off some steam. Um, mind if I want to send me up to me in the right direction to, to coordinate with for repairs? I can go volunteer. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Unless there's anything else you want from me, I'm. Uh, no, no. I just wanted to. I, I just wanted to help you out, help you process this as best I can. I'm sorry, I can't do it much better. I appreciate the sit down. That, that that actually does help a lot. Yeah, you're not. You know, I've 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 dealt with burned agents before, and it's not it's not this. Well, I certainly hope I didn't. If if that is, I guess one of my big fears is something happened and I deserve to be burned. But not, Just my read on it doesn't look like that. I appreciate that. That's oh. all right. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah. If you want to help up with the repairs, he uh, yeah, they, 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 they slide you a slide you a, a data pad that has uh, um, uh, duty rosters and and uh, work work invoices that uh, would point you where your skills would be useful. All right. I'm gonna go fix some ships and then get real drunk. All See right. you later. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you guys. Uh, uh, yeah. After the the prisoner transfer gets taken care of, uh, what are the three of you up to? <laughs> Jeez. Um. Yeah, we're I'm, <laughs> we're absolutely waking up the cats. Okay. I'm gonna uh, do the cure okay. and focus on the one the most important question that I can think of. Okay. Was Irene captured on purpose? Okay. Or captured at all? Uh. All right. Yeah. Uh, so you're you're triggering the vision aspect of oh, that. Oh yeah. Okay. Make that roll. Meanwhile, hey, well, we're just like. Kitty therapy. Oh, yeah, Damien, Damien, Damien Damien is, is, the kids are incredibly sleepy as they're coming out of their stasis. They're very cute. You know, are, are they on their stomach because they want tummy rubs or are they just drowsy? But their tummies are, are pretty accessible right now. <laughs> Damien is quite literally just curling up with one of them, like mm. hugging it. Yeah. Good stuff. We got four. Four successes. Where are you when you do this? I am going to go to the closet 
uh, on absolute zero so that I don't have to worry about interference okay. from the Asia. And I'm just going to, like, use the repetition of, like, you just do repetition stuff. So he'll probably just, I don't know, look, count the days on the calendar over and okay. over again. The uh, right. time to adjust your calendar. Okay, yeah. <laughs> You see arcs throughout the system, ships, rocks, um, people, intersections. You see the adjuster's arc was very clear. It went from the moon to absolute zero. That was how it was supposed to go. You do see an intersection. Um, of, you know, these like, s sort of like, s chaotic, but mil but multi, uh, multifarious connections of these like pirate vessels and this, this coordinated attack, this sort of, sort of like hornet swarm that kind of came together. You do see an intersection between those two. It was orderly, this interference, this connection, this crossing of paths. You do not sense the buzz and the chaos of violence happening. It doesn't necessarily indicate that it was planned or organized. It could have been a simple we have it could have been a simple display of well we could blow you up or you could do everything we say um it could have been a threat of violence but it certainly seemed fortuitous like it, it looks like from the swarm and the arc someone went out of their way to ma make this intersection happen mm. and that's what the kind of filters through to you not a hard yes, not a hard no, but it wasn't random, whatever it it's was. It's more of a complicated situation. It's a very complicated mm -hmm. scenario. Okay. But, a, but not random. Not random. Good. Well, that's important. Mm -hmm. it couldn't have been. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, you guys are having some kitty time. Mm -hmm. uh, you realize you haven't named these guys. You, don't really, you haven't ever found out what their guys, if they have names or what they are. That does could have come across as you're trying to um, distinguish. One of them, one of them has like uh, one of them has a black left ear and the other has a black right ear. So that's sort of the way that you can tell between them. Mm -hmm. um, but the rest of them are the rest of their bodies are pretty uniformly uh, pink flesh co colored. Uh, but yeah, so they as they sort of are getting uh, getting awake from their stasis, uh, and you guys are sort of cuddling and playing with them, they get they start to get a little feisty. Treats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're a fan of treats. They're a fan of treats. It's treat time. To the chicken extruder. Treats, mm -hmm. and if if I can play with them, I will. Yeah. Um, n normally, I think I, I was playing with them with little portals and tossing stuff through them. I'm not doing that right you're, now. You're, you're keeping it on the down low. Yeah, okay. yeah. Damien's, Damien's, Damien's upsetting spaghetti right now, and he is uh, yeah. trying to not... Especially because as I exited, they're like, "Well, you're probably gonna, we're probably gonna get a visit, and they're gonna want to talk. The, the, the proxy or two is gonna want to talk to you." Yeah, anyway, or two, fun. Or two. I don't know. You're, I, I know you're being, names. you're being silly. And good. I'm I not being that silly. Mm. <laughs> okay. Seriously. Oh. Um, Maybe. Maybe. Uh -oh. Well, that's the head man. I'm just the messenger here. So. Mm. No, nah, I got nothing. I'm sorry. I thought I had something. I don't got nothing. Yep, I'm gonna go fix some ships and uh, then get real drunk if anyone wants to join me. I need to make a stop by the ministry first and warn Sam. I'm assuming. Oh, God, I hope Sam's alive. Um, I have to stop and talk to him. But yes, some a little bit of blowing off steam would be nice. That was awful. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, you guys are playing with cats, kind of taking some downtime. You're fixing some ships, getting getting drunk later. Uh, I'm gonna ask ship if the cats have names. Um, he says the cats had multiple names. 
Um, it since they were sort of the cruise cats, mm. uh, it was it was common for for individual crewmates or groups of ca- mm-hmm. in, of uh, of crewmates to have their own names for them. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. And and they were in they are certainly intelligent enough to recognize multiple names in reference to themselves. Uh, so if you would like to continue the crew tradition of naming them yourself for yourselves, uh, they would adapt to that. I mean, crew traditions are great, I think. Um, you are walking your way to the ministries, um, and you're sort of surveying the damage uh, along the way. If you'd like to make another culture roll as you're heading there, you may do so. That overcomes the difficulty. You're walking by all of these these uh, restaurants, uh, shipping uh, companies, uh, you, you know, mercenary uh, outposts, just all the various little businesses and organizations and crews that are the populace of the station, and you start to put a pattern together. You start to correlate things. And it's not definitive because it's not a sort of complete pattern. But if you were to make a correlation, the ones that didn't get hit... Well, okay, I'll put it... This is the way, the way to put it. No organization that has a tie to the FSA that you are that you are aware of got hit. Mm-hmm. Great. Mm-hmm. And you kind of like kind of like sort of in an after image of that to cure, you just have like a flash of the future or a future that would have happened of things Operating pretty normal, except that there are more FSA-associated businesses here. There are more FSA citizens here. The balance of power of this station going away from kind of the micronation of uh, ICE, uh, which is the sort of the the main corporate entity here, which ICE is kind of a, it's basically Belter Corp. Mm -hmm. Uh, the balance of power going away from them and towards FSA-affiliated companies. Not a radical shift, but a shift nonetheless. Yeah, that's pretty... Makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, like, sort of out of your reverie, you do... You find yourself at at Golden Ministries, which wasn't touched. Of course it wasn't. Sam... (laughs) Uh, you're, you're sort of knocking on the door. It certainly is in lockdown mode, uh, but you're definitely able to like wave at the camera. Yeah, it's, and, and it's me, man. One of the one of the security doors slides up for you to come in. Ah, well, and he's sort of sitting there, kind of, kind of with a uh, with a with an assault rifle and a, mm-hmm. and a box of, box of ammo <laughs> at his side. You're like. I would expect nothing less. Yeah, yeah. Protocols say that we gotta we gotta maintain lockdown. Pretty pretty harsh when there's violence around the around the station. We're all clear now, man. We're okay. Okay, good. It's all clear. I Thanks. just gently, gently push the. It's like, hey, we're okay. Like he's not. Yeah, he's not like pointing. No, I know, like but he clutching. has he yeah. has it, yeah. and he's clutching it, and I'm sure his finger is closer to the trigger uh, than it needs to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I <sighs> click the safety on. Yeah. Okay. Like, hey, man, we're okay. We took care of it. Is it good? Yeah, man, we took that. That was real scary. I didn't, it was. It was all I, I was hearing shots all over the place, and I just, I just felt like they were going to come. Oh, don't worry. They weren't coming here. Well, I guess I guess maybe some of them were God-fearing then. Cor- corp-fearing, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes they're kind of too close to call, depending on who you're talking to. <sighs> well. Sam, what was your calling? When were you, when were you called? How are you called? Um... I I guess it was when I uh I uh I failed uh out of um 
out of the the, the military recruitment officer uh, can't, uh, oh, you didn't do training. OC. OK, OK. So yeah, I, I, yeah, well, I didn't get into I didn't get into to OCT. Um, and, you know, that was kind of where my family was really, really hoping I was going to go. And uh, so, you know, I just kind of tried to find find a way to you know, do right by them, and, and, you know, that's when, when I came upon the ministries. Family big into the ministry? <sighs> they're, they're religious, and, uh, you know, but, you know, I think, I think my dad has a concept of God and the FSA military that are pretty, pretty closely aligned. As, as do mine, as you might imagine. Yeah. So, yeah. so it, it, you know, it's one of those things where, I don't want to repeat what my dad said. It was it was real nasty. Um, Sam, I'm going to make you an offer, and I need you to listen to me real careful. The adjuster is here, and I, I she's a very intimidating and competent woman, uh, and we would and she is going to tear this place to the to the ground. Um, I have here. This is an alternate identity that I have. These are my papers. This is the last credit chips. This is the last money I have in the whole world. If you need to get the fuck out of here and try something different, you have my permission to run. Make me a persuasion roll. <laughs> take the fact that I'm hot and his boss. <laughs> I'll put it at five. Put it at five. He thinks for a good long minute. And he grabs uh, the ID and the credit chip, puts it in his satchel, uh, goes through the weapons, yep. gets a sidearm. Done. Take whatever you need, man. Uh, and says, um... I'm out of here. I, I look at him, I look, pull him close, like, don't waste this, okay? Just run. Do right by him a different way. This ain't worth it. Um, and you... You kind of get a, get, you, again, like, you get a little, little sort of glimpse of, of some possibilities. Um... You don't you think that if he's not given a direction, he's going to be rudderless. Like he's not he's not gonna figure out where he where he's not gonna be able to figure out a good place to go on his own. Ah. Okay. So realizing that it's like run until you find a place where you were do it did did the soup kitchen make you happy if there weren't finances involved? If the finance wasn't there, would, would helping people like that be good for you? Was that was that fulfilling? Was that worthwhile? You kind of like... Yeah. Okay. If it, if it wasn't like... If it weren't for the stress and the anxiety of it, because I knew it was a stopgap measure... Yeah. Well, there's a lot of really, really needy people on Luna and Earth that need help. So I would strongly suggest you get to the other, either get to Luna, Mars, or the other side of the planet from wherever the FA go, or the, you know, wherever, and just try to help people, man. Like, feed, feed them. That's, that's what, that's what the fucking book actually says to do. I've read it. I've read the fucking thing. It just says to take care of poor people. And immigrants and shit. I don't... The guns, the tentacles, it's all insanity. <sighs> all right, man. I'm going to go to Earth. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not... I'm not going back to the FSA. Fuck that. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll find somewhere I can help. And he, I, I hear Sud America's really nice. <laughs> I hear it's really nice. Yeah, I, I, maybe I could go help with, the, with Venezuela. Yeah. 
I heard that place is pretty messed up. They, there's people who need help, actual, honest help, everywhere. And I think your talents would be better off for that. You got a good heart, man. All right, well, I'm going to get the hell out of here well, before she sees my face. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah. Get out of here. No, right, yeah, he, he like, kind of gives you, like, one last nod, and he walks out the door. And you are in an empty temple to nothing, really. Just avarice. Like, you see, the, you see, like, you look to one side, you see the, 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 the picture of, of American Jesus, you know, uh, like, hand out at the gates, uh, you know, keeping, keeping the immigrants out from the Holy Land. <laughs> Jesus oh, Come on, guys. Look, <laughs> the FSA what, is What awful. do you think the Church of Vince McMahon would look like? Yeah, Church of Vince McMahon, like <laughs> you know he's geared to the nines, the American protect, Jesus. Protector, protector Jesus. Keeping the the hordes at bay, so God. that the good people in the in the city on the hill can sleep tight at night. That white, white, white city. <laughs> and then you see, you look to the other side, and you see your father, like in the beatific, like he's literally holding a lamb. Okay. Has a cigar in his mouth. You okay. <laughs> Well, this has never happened on camera before. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Yeah, okay, I'll fix some of it. Alright, I'm not gonna keep going. <laughs> I could. I could do this shit all day. But I think I've sold the image. You sold it. You sold it. Uh, and like, oh it's just like the lights are kind of in, in, in power saving mode. Mm -hmm. So you're just in this dark, dark cathedral. To vapidity. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see if. So I'll, let, I'll, I'll shut the fuck up in a second. But I go to the office and I check to see if the agreement for the lease on this place is present in some form or fashion or some sort of database or some sort of data chip that says Gold Ministries owns this spot on absolute zero. Yeah, like I think as we described before cuz you had checked into this. Yeah. So, it's easy to find. It's not it's somewhere between ownership and a lease. It's it's a large amount of money was paid up front um, uh, to essentially lay claim to this place, but it's not technically ownership. So, would I have the authority to break this lease? Or transfer it. Or, or transfer it, sell it, dissolve it. Probably, you probably do not have the direct authority because you're not, because you're, you're, you're a prodigal. You're not, yeah. you're not doing what you're supposed to de be doing. That doesn't mean you couldn't do it. You just would, it would be skullduggery. There'd have to be some form of skullduggery. Involved oh, in making it happen. Skullduggery. You know some skullduggery. Oh, no. You're the hacker buddy. I do, in fact, know an electrokinetic who <laughs> would would probably think selling this church from under the adjuster would be funny. I imagine. Uh, I don't know where you're gonna find these bad influences. I, I do say, right? like, you guys want to help me sell the church before the adjuster gets out of Aeon Jail? <laughs> yes. More than anything. I I kind of like you hear me like break off mid curse as I'm like injuring myself on the ship. Be right there. <laughs> <laughs> Round him up on a wrench. All right. So I do a quick. Um, oh, who would I could ask about this? Who would I? Who? Who would I offer it to? Aeon, I guess that would be fun. <laughs> offer it to fuck it all for Hideout. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got turrets. It's got turrets. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, once we figure out if we can even break this, like transfer this thing, I'll, I'll we'll, we'll me, do I'll a quick think on whether we can. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, right, if y'all want to, y'all can convene. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, we'll convene the in the dark church. In the dark, in the dark church of of, uh, of vapidity. Um, holy mother vapidity. Um, yeah. So you guys confirm convene back at that office. Uh, you know, you notice the lack of Sam. I sent Sam on his way. 
You all right? That's good. Yeah, he has my uh, my fake papers and some cash. I sent him back to Earth. He'll have, he's going to head back to Earth and, like, live. Good. That's nice. Yeah, I just figured might as well just cause as much havoc and chaos out here as I possibly can. I think the FSA orchestrated the attack to make this place a <sighs> capitalist paradise for the FSA. That hmm, sounds about right. And I don't know mm-hmm. how much the adjuster knows or how much my father <laughs> was involved or how much any or anyone was involved, but f- fuck that. So, yeah, this is all batty issues o'clock, but I guess we're going to do it. <sighs> I'm totally down. Or for I'm helping. burning this fucking place to the ground. I mean, I'm totally. Not, not to the ground. You get me. I'm yeah. totally down for helping you stick it to your father. Like, one way or the other. Okay, so. good. Uh, yeah, no, no lost love there. Fuck the FSA. Oh, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I, I don't know if my father sends murderers. But we're going to find out probably after this. Oh, um, no. <laughs> Nobody's ever oh, wanted us dead before. Oh, darn. They just stepped through a portal into the fucking vacuum of space. Oops. That's fair. We're good. All right. So, um, let's see. Yeah, so, how are you guys approaching this? Like, you do have, like, the digital copy of the of the, of the agreement. Who signed well, it initially? Is, um, it a si- is it a digital signature of the yeah, corp? Or, uh, uh, yeah, it was, it was essentially a, a, a corporate power of attorney. Uh, gotcha. Like, who just handled it? I think I'm going to uh, try to uh, um, spend a little time either getting fucking all on the horn, or getting you to contact them, or just finding out like basically what their legal entity is. Oh, I could do that. So, yeah, like, ice. What, well, even ice. The people who run the place might be interested in having the space back. Or that. Uh, actually, go ahead and give me a humanities roll. Someone you. can kind of kind of like figure out like. Yes. What might be the best uh, best target for this? I'm really good. Just housing the unhoused. Well, just like from a from a, minute. we're dealing with legal shit here. Like yeah. yeah the, well, like, that's the thing, right? Like I would give it to Isra, probably, or Aeon, you know, anyone really, but any of the orders. Okay. Four for my humanity. So, as as intri- as as like as fun as giving it to fuck it all sounds. Uh, that would last probably two days. That's true. Yes. Uh, the, the station security, like, Gold Ministries would find some way to make that, uh, to unmake that happen very quickly to probably the immediate detriment to fuck it all. Yeah. Uh, there would be a row of station security. It wouldn't, it wouldn't end well. Um, giving it to Aeon or helping, having Aeon or uh, ISRA or something, uh, Aeon could certainly do it. Like, it's they they would have the muscle to the legal muscle to accept it and to hold on to it. the The hair in that ointment is that because of how uh, the adjuster was brought in with with uh, with through the uh, under the uh, auspice of Aeon, that is an overlap that might look really bad uh, and might. It's politically not correct for... No, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just saying Aeon probably might not even go for it because of the politics. Uh, Yeah, that might might take some convincing. I was actually... The other thing I was thinking was uh, Norse's safe house. Uh, Like, letting them have it. Yeah, having... Setting up a a fake entity that it can just exist under and give them the keys. Yeah, Norsa could certainly do that. And we do. do not have a huge presence on here. And we um, do need to talk to a Norsa member. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that would be good. Um, ISRA probably wouldn't have much interest in it. No, nah, they, they, they have their own place they for, have a, for that. They have their little Shangri-La. Uh, and that would be sort of like a tank Ice, not a terrible idea either. I mean, they are kind of like, they are the biggest corp here, and like, but they're they're about as far away from an FSA corporation in terms of like how they operate. They really are like, they are a worker-owned collective megacorp. Meta, Metacorp. Hmm. And uh, they were the ones who were basically the ones who had the right to commandeer, commandeer it back, yeah. right? Yeah, they could commandeer it back. Uh, from, actually, I'm just going to alter the paperwork then if I can, or I'll at least try. Dissolve it back to it, I, Dissolve I, it back to them, yeah. Dissolve it back to ICE? <laughs> yeah. If they don't want it, they can give it back, but until then. Okay. So, uh, so how are you, Are you like, doing this with uh, hacking? Are you using your psi abilities I to was, get in? Yeah, I was going to use my technokinesis. Yeah. Since uh, oh, I'm so pretty good at it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess. God, so, troublemakers. I think level two, the access, is actually probably the one I would yeah, use for that because yeah. that's the 
Uh, and if someone wants to make a larceny roll to kind of like supplement this, I'd love that. Uh, sure. To kind of like handle the the crime aspect of this, because this you are performing you a crime. Oh, that's for sure. They could do some crime. Uh, I've got larceny too. Oh, so do I. Go for it. You okay. Do it. Thank you guys. This <laughs> make after all the horrors that we just saw. This <sighs> makes me feel a little better. Do we got any? Uh, oh, we got momentum. Some momentum. Well, you get we have one here. momentum, I which will enough. not turn this into a success. Uh, well, I uh, guess we now it. have two Wait, momentum, three? and I fail. Three. I've got three. Unless, unless there's yep, just uh, three. Would you like to turn this failure into a botch and make it interesting? Are you guys cool with that? We've got three from this side of the table. It... Yeah, I've got three to help. Yeah. Uh, she still failed the roll. Oh, <laughs> oh no problem. Like, no gotcha. no enhancement in the world is going to fix yeah, that. That's... Yeah. Um... Do we, yeah, that's, you know the, that's my question. Do we want one momentum and have this just be a failure? Or do we want two momentum and have this be spicy? I always like going for I, spicy. I like interesting. Okay spicy. I'm down for spicy. Fuck it, spicy. It's not if it does. I don't care who it belongs to as long as it doesn't belong to them anymore. <laughs> so Alex is bring off the their spice. game today. So let's uh, let's spice it up. The spice must flow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. So. You the you are like getting into the the systems, uh, and uh, you know you, you're getting you're getting uh, um, your shoulder devils uh, <laughs> feeding, feeding really your hard. crime facts, <laughs> crime, shoulder devils, crime help. Um, <laughs> when we're literally over each shoulder. <laughs> yeah, literally, you feel the system shut down or like in, around you in your psychic senses. Ooh. Like it is getting the access is getting cut off. Oof. Um, uh, and uh, just sort of like the all the lights go off, um, and uh, there is a uh, the the sort of emergency red lights come on, uh, and there's a computerized voice that says, uh, "Intrusion detected! Intrusion detected! Countermeasures online!" I should probably get As us out of here. Turrets <laughs> uh, oh, shit. down. You know, I forgot to check if they also had an electrokinetic. <laughs> All right, let's get. All right. Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, go yep. ahead and let's make us a roll. I mean, okay. I have I have Angel of the Lord with me. It's not. Yeah, but I think I can get us out of yeah, here. Yeah, we can Why get not, out of here. Right, guys? <laughs> yeah. I'm totally yeah. fine to use my fucking portals all over mm-hmm. the place still. It's fine. It's Don't fine. worry, I'm fine. It's an emergency. Is I it? got no success. I. I I mean, I'm gonna roll right now, but yeah. I don't want turrets. Yeah, let's just let's let's get some initiative rolls here. Okay. Oh, initiative. Okay. Getting shot a little. Uh, no bueno. You always need to have the goal, not getting shot. Fifty-fifty at this point. Mm-hmm. This one. Okay, so. They got the these the, the security system got a three. You got a three. I did. It goes to PC. Okay. So, uh, but uh, it does. So, I will say that you can pass that action on to uh, Damien to get you the fuck out of here. Yes. If yes, you so I will. Desire. Yes, please. Now let's roll that beautiful teleport footage. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, here we God, go. So many fucking guns in here. <laughs> Two. Sorry, mm-hmm. that turned, but it was a nine. Yep, I saw it. <laughs> is there a toilet gun? Is there a toilet gun? <laughs> of course there is. Course you think a it's a bidet. <sighs> you wish. Three. Three. That's a spicy bidet. Oh. <laughs> Six. Those are two words that do not belong together, they sir. They sure don't. <laughs> Six dice. Okay. Use my last ones, because I have too many dice. Mm-hmm. Four. Four successes. Okay. Plus my crazy... <laughs> yep. So, Uh-oh. I have a question for you. Okay. <laughs> you can activate the portal and have it whisk you all away and not buy off the complication that is on this roll, which will cause something to happen. Uh, or uh, you can... Not open the portal. Well, we have three. And, and, and essentially get uh, 
Yeah, we do have three momentum. Or, or would you like to blow those three momentum to be able to buy off the complication? Mm, curiosity do, spend says. It all. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm debating because okay. curiosity also says do the thing, but we also have three momentum. But we also and I have guess. this momentum. We might as well use it. I bow to y'all's. Whatever you guys want to do, you think it would be more fun. You would like me to use momentum. What is your input? I'm, I'm curious about what's going to go I will on. say, momentum use has to be uh, uh, universal at the Yes, moment. that's why I'm... Anyone yeah. can veto this. Uh, I could do either one, but I am curious. Um, what Slightly pro-momentum use. Okay. Well, you know me, I want you to use the momentum. Yeah, so. you want me to use the momentum. You want me to, and you're... I'm trouble. I, I, I want to know what will happen. Okay. So okay. that is All a right. veto. Momentum use veto. Is veto. Only momentum Sorry. use. So. No, man. So you do Let's open do the thing. portal. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, you all feel, um, as your senses realize, uh, where, where, where were you taking the portal to, by the Asaya. way? Asaya. Asaya? Yeah, as you realize, uh, in the moment you realize that this portal is not taking you to, you to Asaya, uh, it is taking you to uh, a dark, underground-looking place. Mm. Uh, and, like, you feel, like, a tug a strong tug of something pulling you into the portal. Uh, Literally, like, centimeters before the first of you goes, the portal shimmers and shifts, um, uh, and you are instead pull... Even that momentum still pulls you through it um, as you are brought into uh, the office of Boland Antoine. Oh shit! Proxy of the uh, proxy of the Upeo Mamacho, uh, and you feel a strong psionic uh, effort on her part uh, as she is clearly she has clearly counter co opted this portal, um, and she is uh, holding hands with um, another scion um, uh, who is concentrating with her, uh, and she. Shuts the portal down behind you. Thanks. Hi. She kind of gives you all a look and says, I can return you all shortly, but I have to have a conversation with Damien here. It's up to you if they're here as well. We can leave. It's whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. Probably that would be good. I'll sever, I'll sever the, the link, too, just in case. Okay. You know, give you your privacy. Yeah. Uh, she uh, motions to the, the sign beside her, um, and she says, lead them to the, uh, lead them to the re- uh, ready room. And you are led into a very nice uh, sort, of sort of side office <coughs> with couches. Um, no windows. Uh, you guys are not exactly certain where you are. I was about to say, I'm going to start screaming unless you tell me, um, at least somewhere in the solar system we might be oh. right now, please. I was probably going to do... Yeah, if you want to... I was going to orient uh, real yeah, quick. Yeah, if you want to orient. No, that was just Alex saying that out loud because yeah, they're about to start screaming. <laughs> I was like, where are we? I got a uh, four on the orientation. Not in Seoul. We're not... We're not in Seoul. What? Ah! We did a galaxy jump. Yell, uh, we did a solar uh, system jump. Okay, I just wasn't expecting that. Uh, the, 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 the young woman who, uh, who is ascending you and says, we're in a very safe place. Uh, we're at... Let's just say for, for brevity's sake, we are at the headquarters of the Opeo Macho. Oh, right. Nothing will happen. Nothing bad will happen to you here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I appreciate... Plus coming here instead of wherever else that was. Um, really big dark pit. Sorry about screaming. That was just very frightening. It can be upsetting when you when bad things happen. Can I get you anything for you, any of you? you any of you? Uh, a water that's actually a beer, please. <laughs> you can certainly have a water that is a beer. Uh, Drink and, sounds good. Yes. Uh, and she uh, <laughs> she she begins to make orders for you. Uh, back in the office. Um, the proxy stands up from her desk and sort of comes around um, 
and like indicates a, a pair of chairs off to the side. We'll go to sit. She thinks for a while and says, it's very lucky that I received the report that I did regarding what's been happening with you. Very lucky indeed. She says, I need to examine you. I need to see what is going on with your teleportation. I don't really have a choice in the matter. <laughs> you do. But I am asking you to allow me to do this. For reasons including your well-being. But well beyond that as a primary concern. Okay, sure. That's fine. I mean, I trust that I trust you, even after everything. How can I not? That is good to hear. And she sort of sits across from you, and you you feel uh, she's using a very simple power. Mm -hmm. She's using a spatial sense on you, um, but. When your target number is seven and you have the dice that she has, that, that means uh, a little <laughs> bit good. more. And sort of, you sort of like feel, you feel space align, you feel your space, your place in the universe kind of examined and analyzed and understood. And after about five minutes of this, she leans back. And you can tell she's also using some like auxiliary modes, like clairsentience and, and a little bit, you feel a little bit of, of psychic pressure from some telepathy uh, and, and some other things. Cause you know, she, they can have, they can have that. They can she have a lot of that. She a little resistance from my iron will, but. Yeah, yeah, but. Can't help it. It's fine. <sighs> he says, I am. Um, I see that uh, our last, well, the last update we had regarding the development of your powers, uh, that uh, the recommended action item was not followed. Your dysfunction is a very big problem. I'm fine. No, you're not. Things have happened to you. Things have affected you. And they have done so through the imbalance of your psionic aptitudes. You have a mark of corruption. It's very subtle. But the monsters are using you through your lack of balance. I'm not saying this to blame you. I know. Because I certainly bear the part of the blame. I know you don't understand why we did what we did. You may not even know that we were responsible, but we were. Believe me, I've put together that you're all responsible. It's only because of everything that we went through that I'm okay with being here right now. I know. I'm going to give you a choice because As big of a risk we are taking, we cannot have that risk compounded. I can take you off this operation. 
I can restore your place in the order where you will be beholden to the, the commands of this order. Or you can promise me that you will fix this on your own as soon as you can. Because as dire as it is, the, situ the solution is so simple. Seal the crack. Retain balance. And they cannot touch you this way. But if you are to be out in the universe, with the freedom you have, despite the difficulties we have put upon you, and the good you stand to do, which I have faith that even blinded as we have made you, you will accomplish. That is the choice that I leave on you. I'm not leaving them behind. I'm not leaving them. I won't. Then I need your promise. And I need it to be real. And we will be checking. You have my word. I know it will take some time. So I will give you that time. But if I hear another report, if we detect another disturbance of this nature, I will take the choice away from you. I'm going to try, but you, you can't be telling me that I can't, I can't use... No, no, no. Okay. I can use... Be cautious, be aware. Linking seems to exacerbate it. It allows the corruption to spread to your friends and subvert their powers. It's because it fucking marked me. Something did. I know it did. I know what did because it told me that it would remember me. That makes sense. That makes sense as do other things that I cannot confirm. But as disturbing as this all is, this report has also given me a lot of hope because it seems as though you're on the right track. You and your friends are doing what you need to be doing. And one day, when you've gone far enough down this road, it will be safe till they start lighting the way again. She holds out a hand and sort of puts it it holds out a hand to you. And she holds his hand and says, You were going to the Blight. I can tell that was where it was going. Under, under North America. They have a hive there. Thank you. You have a brother. Don't you? Yes. He's the only member of my family I'm still in contact with. Well, that's where they were taking you. Very dangerous, but a lead nonetheless. Do with it what you will, but get yourself fixed first. I will. All right. (sighs) 
Where do you wish to be returned to? Probably back to... Safely back to Absolute Zero. I think we should probably walk back to the ship. Okay, well. Not, um, not where we were. Okay. Yeah. Clean front of that bullet, please. She presses something on the desk, and you guys got a little chime as the door as the door opens back up. Yeah, you guys have gotten they've refreshments. Got, they've got boba. Yeah. Uh, this water is great. Mm-hmm. With spatial sense, I'm pretty sure I know exactly where we are in my car. Oh yeah, you know exactly where you are. Um. Yeah, so you, uh, she uh, opens up a portal um, uh, in your closet. It was lovely to meet you. I'm sorry it wasn't under better circumstances. <sighs> Hopefully we'll meet again one day. Probably will. That'd be awesome. Um, Thanks for the drinks. Yes. <laughs> I've given your friend some information. Hopefully it will be profitable to you. Wow, that's even better. And she, as I said, the, the portal to your closet shimmers hop on, open. Hop on through. <laughs> I'll probably the last one through and just... You've got cool friends, Damien. Thank you. I believe. I believe. And the portal shuts behind it. <sighs> Holy shit, man. So... Uh, you alright? Oh, uh-huh. really? All right. Oh, okay. Well, That's... hug time. Yep, hug. we all hug, baby. We actually will not move away. <laughs> hug time. Holy crap. <laughs> Take it away. It's all right. We're going fi- to get this figured out. Well, um... We, we should walk back to... The... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be more careful. We're going to be a little careful. Um, okay. And then we need to talk over there. Okie doke. Should we do that before trying to resolve... Yeah, I don't know what. Nah, Golden Ministries can solve itself. Yeah, they're fucked. What no, no, not uh, Golden Ministry. The, 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 the what we did before. What? Hmm? The job. Oh, trying to talk to them about the thing that we were supposed to be doing. I'm pretty sure the, the thing we did. Oh, yeah. yeah shit. Um. Oh. Um. Let's. Why don't you? Let's handle Damien's thing. Yeah. Let's. let's cool. Just I just want to try to get an idea of the time I, frame. I'm sure they have their own. Shit storm to worry about right yeah. now. Got yeah. too. Your, your meeting got delayed. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. good. I just wanted to make sure we weren't going to meet there's it. A, or... there's, a, there's a little scheduler that has some blocks of time. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, okay. Never mind. Disregard. <laughs> the not Norsa app. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you guys head back to the Asaya where it's docked? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh. <sighs> All right. I hate to say it, you're all fucking right. Okay. That's okay. It's all right to, you know, you don't have to be upset about it. Well, you can. It's a, it's oh, I'm absolutely upset, upset about well, it. Well, you don't have to be upset. Hey. <laughs> we believe in you. That's what the, I kind of heard. <laughs> so, I have to fix this. How about this? I'll learn one too. I want to learn how to translocate. I want to blink. <laughs> Might make me better at dodging bullets and it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> but not in that order. Okay. Okay. So, I learn, you learn. How about that? That, that works. Cool. That's good. All right. Coming clean about something that I probably should have said before. Uh, when we were in our first battle on board the Asaya against the Undying Storm, it visited me after I shot it, and it said it would remember me. Oh, well, well that lines things up now, doesn't oh. it? Oh, Captain Shell did say they thought Aberrant involvement was, uh... Around yeah. so colony specifically involvement. Which well if they're using you to get to all this. He was trying to take us to the blight. Oh. Ah. 
The Wyckoff plate? Like. In, in middle, in episode. Oh my oh. god. Oh god. God. Oh dear. Oh, we tried to open a chapel there. It did not go well. That's where it was well, trying to take us. Well, I'm glad you're, uh, I'm glad you're proxy. You can put a stop to that. Mm-hmm. That sounds disgusting. Um. But it might be eventually somewhere that we need to be. Well, I never thought I'd be returning to the FSA, but if there was going to be a reason, I guess crushing aberrants would probably be part of it, so. Whatever we're doing, we're doing what we need to here. So you got the confirmation that this is all just a big setup and we're all just doing a big thing now? It's not a setup. Oh, okay, so it's just we're doing a big thing? I think we volunteered for this. I think we did. Oh, we totally would have, This is definitely something I would have volunteered for. Yeah, Yeah, I guess if someone were to be like... Do you want to save humanity, but we have to wipe your memory and be disavowed? I'd be like, yeah, fuck yeah, of, of course, course, why not? That's... I'm fairly sure that we voluntarily did this. Because I was offered the opportunity to leave this mission. Ah. Oh, that's relieving. That is relieving. Well, now that I know that I chose this, let's fucking go, man. Huh. That, yeah. Oh, that's would totally do this bullshit. Yeah, this makes sense. <laughs> yeah, they uh, this would. is the most ridiculous act of rebellion I could have chosen. So that is, yep, that's all me. You guys are really love a ruining my memory. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah. All right, well. Okay. Shit, that's. Right. Woo. Hey, Ship, can you make us some ice cream? Absolutely, I can. Man, I wonder who that was. I wonder if I wonder if uh, who who that was who like countered you. Like, that was pretty spooky, huh? What? Oh, when they whenever they shut you out of the uh, the system. Yeah, I don't that's know. That's probably about... gonna that's probably gonna come back to bite us. But let's not worry about that right now. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that's that's its own. Yeah. <laughs> okay, get in line, um, I guess, if you're mad my, at me. My conversation, <laughs> and I will say, I am very much looking to, forward to my next conversation with Irene. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be so much fun. All right. Glad you're going to be feeling better. Especially when I have to be in a link with you. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> it's all right. That's all right. It makes you feel any better. Ring the spell three times. Why? Just just do it. Ring the bell. One, two, three. Kitties! <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where they came from, but oh boy. I don't know. What you, oh God. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you expected to happen. I have to give him treats now. I knew that was coming. I knew it was coming, but I'm still surprised. I just wanted it. I just wanted it. Oh, so I'm big. turn with the bell. <laughs> biggest, <laughs> biggest toe beans ever. Oh, they're so beanie. They're so beanie. That is the biggest beans. It took a few days to train that. Well, shit. Lots of treat reinforcements. Hmm. All right. We've got purpose. We've got a direction, sort of. Only a few more people probably want to shoot us. Success. <laughs> we helped people. We did help people. We made it our jobs back eventually. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. We, we te- I don't know if we technically still have them or not, but we are on a mission. Well, yeah. Well, I'm officially suspended. I mean, the mission ends, or we... Money, or we so. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm broke as a joke. I gave all my money to Sam, so that's fine. Well, oh, we haven't gotten paid from this last job. Gonna pay us. Oh, yeah, we... Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah, you guys, uh, uh, as, like, the, sh- the station sort of returns to normal, it sort of repairs, and, uh, and you know, people get their, their injuries healed at the, the Esculpian Clinic. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, and, and you know, there is, there is uh, occasionally a job for you. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, would you like to help? Yeah, exactly. We uh, we have need of people who can just miraculously knit people back together. Um, so yeah, you get a little money with that. You guys reset up your um, meeting with uh, your Norsa contact, uh, who definitely gives you just a big old dollop of money. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, this is um. Uh, yeah. So uh, that is uh, where we're gonna. We thank you for your participation in this. Uh, the data was excellent. Certainly some, some rough corners to buff out on that. Uh, but we are, uh, I think that will be good for our relationship, at least on this uh, sector of space. Don't want to draw too much conclu- attention or conclusions uh, to that. We like to handle that. But do know you've, uh, you've done a service to the Nova Force International, and uh, that will not go on that will not go forgotten. Uh, Feel free to get back in touch. Yeah. Those, yeah. 
Well, but I, we are we are where you least expect us. Uh, so help may be available uh, when it is most needed. Oh, um, just I, I know you've probably already figured this out, but I have no reason not to tell you. That was so planned and staged by the FSA that it hurts. So, mm. womp womp. Ah, uh, you mean the the the, yes, the whole. Men. The, the we suspected that they were a front uh, for some time, uh, uh, and uh, he says, uh, uh, "We uh, we managed to get some uh, information. Uh, it does seem that Doc is in fact a a." a um, uh, I'm trying to think of the acronym. The uh, the CSA uh, operative. Hmm. He, he works for the uh, the FSA intelligence operator apparatus. So oh, that's the way he had the the molar. Oh mm. yeah, he had the spy molar. Indeed. What kind of an arctic pirate is he? Ah, uh, the so exact sweet. opposite. A uh, mm-hmm. uh, fascist stooge. Ugh. Well, no, I wish I'd hit him a couple well, times. Well, I'm sure you know that there's another fascist stooge who was with him on on that ship. Uh, uh, we will be definitely keeping an eye. As I say, we uh, we probably won't be doing business with you here, mm-hmm. uh, but the solar system is wide and the universe is wider. So I'm sure, uh, not maybe not our paths, but your paths will cross the Marsa again. Best uh, of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you yep. as well. Uh, and so, yeah, you guys uh, certainly could stay here, uh, get some more... Uh, established in the belt community, but you guys do have some points of interest out there in uh, in the solar system and the galaxy at large. So what what is the path? Where do we go from here? Are we staying, or are we heading out to chase some de- chase some mysteries? Well, there is Edo Cassiopeia. Oh, where, way where, out there. In Sider- where Sideria is. Although I will say that getting there would probably be difficult without a jump ship, I imagine. Until uh, we fix some things that's probably, that might need to be on the back burner for a bit. I don't like getting enough stuff just to finish what I what we started on the Starlight. I mean, you but then otherwise I am happy yeah, to... You guys to certainly st- have, you can stay on the, stay here with this money, uh, finish up uh, the upgrades on the Starlight. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a thing you can certainly do. Uh, and maybe plan out your, your mm-hmm. next uh, steps. I'd like to get her. Actually, yeah, I think I'd like yeah. to probably access whatever we can monetarily because we're probably not going to have an opportunity again for a while to get yeah. stuff and yep. I'm on the good get armor starlight. on the damn starlight. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, get, get the starlight fixed up and uh, replace my uh, my device. Okay. Yeah, at least in so, the future. So we will, uh, we will pick back up here at Absolute Zero next time uh, as you guys figure out where to go next. Uh, we'll spare you all the shopping montage. Yeah, Yay! the shopping and the and the yeah, absolutely. But anyway, that's where we'll leave it off for this episode of Asaya. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you guys for playing. Thank you. If yep. you would yeah. like to support the show and the channel, please, the best way to go is to go to patreon.com slash simulacra studios. Again. Yeah, yeah. Just give me a little bit of money. Just, give, just a little bit of money. I'm a patron, uh, why aren't you? Yeah, exactly. It's it's twelve dollars a year. Um, for for a lot of access. There's some higher tiers, but, you know. Um, you can get access to our Discord channels. Chat with us, chat with me. Get a, get some casting calls if you want to roleplay with us. Get access to the uh, Aberrant War Project, uh, which, you know, is going to be an indefinite thing if I can make it, make it a thing. Uh, that's a Patreon exclusive, at least for the first little bit of it. Um, please check out our show notes to see what our cast members are up to. Uh, And we will see you all next week. See ya.